What's up everyone, my name is Blake, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. And in today's video we are going to be unboxing the Build-A-Bear Workshop Sonic Plush Set. So without further ado, let's get to this unboxing. So first off, we got the Sonic of the set. He's quite big, so let's examine him in a close-up. So here's the Sonic of the set. He's quite big compared to the other plushes. Well, Tails to be exact. He has a very nice shade of dark blue, which is what I really like about this plush. His quills are kind of slanted to the like, like bottom. So that's pretty cool. Like they're not just sticking out like some other plushes do. Something that I did notice, and a few other people have noticed too, is I don't know, is it gonna focus? Yes. And is the like little stitching line right here above his muzzle. So that's pretty odd, I don't know why they let that in. But yeah, I think this plush is really nice. He's definitely very tall, like I keep saying. Here's the back of Sonic. Got his shoes in the back of him where his little stitching is. Now one cool thing is that he actually has the Build-A-Bear logo right there on his paw. And on the bottom of his shoe, he has the Sonic the Hedgehog logo. So, yes, this plush is really nice. Definitely really big. Here's it compared to the, what is this, 13-inch? Not sure. But here's this in comparison to the big Sonic from the uh, Tony set. But yeah, that's that. Sonic is really cool. I got the online set for um, as a gift from my parents. So yeah, pretty cool. Now when I got this plush, he actually did not come with the sound chip that it's supposed to come with. The sound chip was the Sonic 3 special stage music. So we called Build-A-Bear and they obviously said we're sorry and they asked to, to ship these back and get new ones. But I said no, it's alright. So they ended up sending us the sound chip that was supposed to be in this one, complete free of charge. And we went to Build-A-Bear earlier today to get it stuffed. So here, let's play it. It's on his right paw. But they did poor stuffing right here, so like it was just like like thin rather than stuff, so we had to move it a little bit right here. So let's play it. But yeah. So that's pretty cool how it plays the Sonic 3 special stage. Kind of bizarre did not play the Sonic 2 special stage as this plush only consists of Sonic and Tails. Wonder why they didn't make a Knuckles. Pretty weird. But let's go to his tag. It's got Sonic the Hedgehog and Sonic like kind of I'm thinking this is like the Build-A-Bear house. If you remember Build-A-Bear used to when you used to buy a Build-A-Bear, they used to put them like cardboard houses and you used to take them home, so. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I do, and it was really cool. So yeah, this Sonic plush is actually really nice, quite different. So definitely recommend this. Now let's get moving on to Tails. Alright, so next guys, we have Tails. Just look at him. Isn't he adorable? But yeah, Tails is pretty cool. He's a lot smaller than Sonic. Let me get Sonic real quick. And look how much smaller he is compared to the sun. So yeah, quite small, but I definitely think it's a good size comparison since his tails is supposed to be a lot smaller than Sonic, or shorter, I should say, than us. But yeah, let's examine him. So when I first look at this plush, I immediately noticed, again, the muzzle stitching. What's up with that? I don't know. It's really dumb. I don't know how they allowed it. I mean... I guess it's not that bad from far, you can't really tell, but if you're to look up close, yeah, you can definitely tell, so that's, I don't know, they could have fixed that, but, you know, it's okay. So, another thing, what's up, what's up with the neck, Tails, what's up with the neck? Tails isn't supposed to have a neck looking upwards, it's kind of weird, but, you know, maybe that's the Build-A-Bear style. Also, like Sonic, he has the Build-A-Bear little palm print and 
His paws are actually really, really tiny. What can I compare? Here's a little USB from the Sonic 25th anniversary party compared to this. It's about the exact same size as his paw, if not smaller. That's really crazy. Anyways, this Tails is pretty good overall. Uh, if you want it, if, if it's, I wouldn't say to get it as a normal plush. Either way, you should really get them both because it's a good plush for the collection. But if you just want it just for a Tails plush, I mean, you know, there's better ones out there. But yeah, um, I definitely think the Sonic is better than this for obvious reasons. But Tails is still pretty cute. I really like this plush. It's like I said before, it's it's different and it's really cool. But why are his tails so small? Come on, Bill the Bear. But yeah, guys, Tails actually really cool. I don't know if I said I did not recommend him. But I mean, now I guess I kind of would because now that we took a closer look at him. But he is pretty cool. He's the Bill the Bear style, so I guess that's what counts. Now let's move on to some other items. So with the online pack, you get like this sort of ring. It's pretty cool. Although it's oddly shaped, kind of like, but kind of looks, I don't know, kind of straight right here. And, I don't know. But nonetheless, here's the ring. It's made of like a shiny material, so that it's cool. It represents a ring perfectly. Got a little like, a patch right here for something to hold it. And I don't like that all these tabs sticking out. I might cut them or maybe fold them and glue them like that. But either way, let me try and get this on Sonic because it is a little trippy. So if I ever get it, hopefully I'll show you guys. Okay, so I think I got it. It's supposed to be sticking upwards, but that's a little hard because you have to like kind of position it. But yeah, it's really cool. It's kind of a hard, like a hard material inside. It's not like soft like the Sonic plushes themselves. So they won't like, I don't know, they're not too soft, so that's really cool. It has some grip to it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Now let's move on to, I believe, a shirt? Yeah, it's a shirt. So the online pack also came with the shirt, so let's get that right now. So here is the shirt that it came with. It's got Sonic tails and knuckles on it. Really cool. Looks like it's gonna fit Sonic, not, not tails, but let's see if we can get it on Sonic first, and then we'll try tails afterwards. Okay, guys, so I got it on. It was really difficult because Sonic has such a huge head, but we got it on, guys. And it looks pretty fantastic, if you ask me. It fits in perfectly. And I should probably take his little back spikes out, but nonetheless, it still looks great. So, here's the other sides of the shirt. Very nice. So, let's see if we can get it on tails, if it even fits in. So, like I thought, it actually is pretty big on tails. You can see his hands are barely sticking down in his little neck right there. Kind of fits in like a dress. Kind of cool, though. Kind of looks cute, like as a big shirt, because it could be like a little brother type of thing wearing his big brother's shirt or something. I don't know, I just think that's kind of cool. Also, guys, almost forgot the online pack comes with the little, this little card, this little holographic card with artwork designed by Sonic Team for Build a Bear. They've got Sonic holding a Build a Bear with little Sonic shoes. In the bag, it's got Build a Bear presents Sonic the Hedgehog with some Sonic Fast Facts, so that's pretty cool. Alright guys, so thank you all for watching. If you've made it to the end of the video, you're you're amazing. And if you like this video, definitely make sure to leave a like. Or if you didn't, you can also dislike and tell me what I did wrong in the comments. Because I'd love to hear all your opinions. And also, what do you guys think of the new setup, huh? I've had this, like, just sitting here on my desk and... I thought, hey, this would be like a good video background for unboxing, so... Let me know what you guys think, or if I should go back to my old signature round table with the little Sonic and the Black Knight box promo thing. But yeah guys, thank you for watching again, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.